Okay, so let's see if you know enough math to solve this simple problem, which is the following. Three cats weigh 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds, respectively. What's greater, the median or the mean? All right, so this is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Now, before I show you the answer, let's take another quick look at the problem. So three cats weigh 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds, respectively. What's greater, the median or the mean? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the mean. All right, now, if you got this right, will you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of mean and median? So that is fantastic. So you get a happy face and an A+, and if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot the difference between the median and the mean. Can you teach me? Well, I definitely can. So the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. Now, in this particular case, if we don't understand what the word mean or median uh, actually means, we won't be able to solve the problem. Okay, so these two words right here are concepts that you study in basic statistics. So we have a set of data here. We have three uh, cats that weigh 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds, respectively. And what we're trying to do here is to measure uh, the median and the mean and determine which one is greater. All right, so let's go ahead and review what the definition of the median is and the mean is. And once we understand this, we'll be able to solve the problem. Okay, so we'll start off with the mean. Now, the mean is nothing more than a fancy word for average. So if you understand how to find the average, well, that is the mean. So I have two examples here. We have one, four, and six. So these uh, set or these three numbers here uh, would be considered like a set of data. So over here we have one, four, six, and ten. Okay, so if you think you know how to calculate the average, go ahead and quickly do so for these two sets right here. And if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. So let's go ahead and review how to find the average or the mean of uh, numbers. Okay, so here is our first example, so 1, 4, and 6. So how do we find the mean of any uh, group of numbers or any set of numbers? Well, you simply add up the numbers, and then you um, divide by the actual number of numbers that you have. So 1, 4, and 6, we'll add those up. And because we have 1, 2, and 3 numbers, we're going to divide by 3. Okay, so 1 plus 4 plus 6 is 11. 11 divided by 3 is 3.6 repeating. Okay, so that is the mean of our first data set, or the average. So let's go ahead and just kind of reinforce this with these numbers right here. So 1, 4, 6, and 10, how many numbers do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to add up the numbers, find the sum. So 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 10 divided by 4 will give us the mean or the average. All right, so that would be 21 divided by 4, and our answer here is 5.25. Okay, so pretty straightforward, and hopefully all of you out there are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is easy. Well, it should be. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at this other word, and that is the median. Okay, so the median kind of sounds like middle, right? Now, to calculate or to find the median, the first thing that you need to do is to order your data set uh, from lowest to highest. So you can see here I have 1, 4, and 6. Here I have 1, 4, 6, and 10. So the numbers are increasing. So they have to be in that order in uh, order to find the median. Okay, so the median is actually the middle number once you have all your data set uh, in order from lowest to highest. So here the median is 4. Okay, it's the precise middle. So half of the numbers are less than 4 and half of the numbers are greater than four, or greater, is greater than four, excuse me. So over here, I have one, four, six, and 10. All right, so what is the middle number? Well, we have a problem here because we don't have a particular middle number. Four is not the middle because we have two here and one here, and six is not the middle because we have one here and two here. So when you have an even number of uh, data or even number of numbers, uh, you have to find the average between the two 
numbers that are in the center. So in this case, that would be 4 and 6. All right, so uh, the average or the mean of 4 and 6 will be the median of this data set. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that now. So 4 plus 6 divided by 2 is going to be 10 divided by 2. So the median of this uh, data set right here is 5. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we know how to calculate the mean and the median given a set of data, well, we can solve the problem. All right, so we have three cats that weigh 8.2 pounds, 9.7 pounds, and 12.5 pounds, respectively. So our data set here is 8.2, 9.7, and 12.5. So what we need to do is to actually calculate the median and the mean to determine which one is greater. All right, so let's go and do that right now. So here is our data set. So we have 8.2, 9.7, and 12.5. So it's not important to kind of uh, focus on these units of measure. What we need is the numbers. Now, if you notice here, I have the numbers uh, in order from lowest to highest. And this is convenient because this middle number here is the median. All right, so right off the bat, we know that the median is 9.7. Okay, so we have the median, it's 9.7. What we need to do is determine what the mean is. All right, so how do we do that? Well, easy, all we need to do is to add up all three numbers and divide by three. So 8.2 plus 9.7 plus 12.5 is 30.4, and 30.4 divided by three is approximately uh, 10.13. Okay, so this is the mean. And 10.13 is certainly greater than 9.7, which is the uh, median. So the mean is greater. All right, so hopefully this little video was a nice review of these basic statistical concepts. Now, if you need additional help in basic statistics or basic math, check out these courses here. So my first is my pre-algebra course. Now, I teach you basic uh, data analysis, basic uh, statistical concepts in this course. If you need something a little bit more advanced, check out my Algebra 1 course or maybe even my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all those courses in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.